this is the world's easiest um social social anxiety visualization <laughs> Okay, um, first of all, you're just going to visualize a fountain of love pouring over the top of the person, the person you're going to talk to's head. Um, and whenever you start to feel that fear of like, what are they going to think? You're going to, um, rather than focus on the fear, you're going to focus on the fountain of love that's going to pour over their head. Whenever you start to say something, okay? Um, and just imagine that anything you say is going to cause this fountain of love to pour over their head, okay? So rather than focus on the fear, focus on the fountain you see on above their head, the fountain of love. And anyways, um... It's also extremely necessary that you memorize five five questions um those are where are you from where did you grow up what do you like to do for fun uh, what type of movies books tv shows or music uh do you like to listen to and what have you been up to um, and, and in addition, you can also memorize um, what's been the best part of your day so far, what's been the worst part of your day so far. If you can only memorize the first five, that's okay. Start with that. If you can only memorize the first five, start with that. Um, And, and the reason you're going to memorize them is because um, when you're faced with the person, you don't want to have to, like, you don't want to have to expend a bunch of energy, like, trying to think of stuff to say. You want to have that stuff, like, ready to fire off immediately. Um, and sure, you might have some uh, cognitive dissonance or mixed feelings about using memorized questions that you're going to say to people. Because I, I, I felt that. I thought that. Um, and you might think, isn't this fake or phony just to use memorized questions to talk to people? Um, but if you think about it, if you actually care about what the person, the, what the other person responds with, then it's not insincere or, or phony because you actually care. And... Just remember that the fact that you're wanting to offer value and that you actually care about what the, act the other person has to say and that you're willing to listen, that and the fact you actually care, that means you're a good person. So tell yourself that and believe it with your heart. Um, remember, you're offering value, okay? Um... And anything you say has value. So, and for um, any additional questions uh, you might want to ask the person, um, try to be, uh, just try to treat those as a game. Um, and try to be as creative as you can in coming up with fun little questions you can ask you can ask people. I mean, treat it as a game. Treat treat it as think of it from a, a, from a perspective of oh, I get to try out all these different things um, within reason, of course. I mean, um, use self discipline and boundaries, of course. But I'm just saying. Think of it from a place of, um, oh, I get to be creative. I get to, you know, try stuff out. Um, and if you get stuck, try to ask, if you get stuck, ask yourself, 
If I was this other person, what would I want to hear? What would I want? If I was this other person, what would I want to be asked? If I was this other person, what would I want to hear? Um, and now I'm going to go into how I got this idea. Um, well, f first of all, I felt the urge one day to, well, a couple of days, maybe even three days, to memorize Psalm 23. And then um, I noticed over the next um, the next week, I started uh, hearing the words "pour love on people" whispered in my mind, um, and like the entire week, I just kind of ignored it because I didn't. I thought it was just my mind, you know. But one day, um, this I, the idea of this visualization of a, a love fountain, a fountain of love, um, just dawned on me, and it required very little effort to work out how it would work on my, on my part. Um, ah. And now I'm just going to reiterate. Um, what you need to do, remember, memorize, memorize the five memorized questions that you need to memorize. Um, where are you from? Where did you grow up? What do you like to do for fun? What, what type of movies, books, TV shows, and music do you like to listen to? What have you been up to? Um, in addition, you can also memorize what has been the best part of your day so far, what has been the worst part of your day so far. And the beauty of those last few questions is that you can use them pretty much, pretty much any day, except a funeral, of course, and, you know, other inappropriate venues, of course, but I mean, um, and remember, this is very important, um, you go up to a person and you start to get that, uh, you want to ask person questions and talk to them, but you get that fear feeling like, oh no, how are they going to respond to my question? How are they going to, you know, what are they going to think? <laughs> you're rather than focus on that, you're going to focus on the fountain of love pouring down over their I mean, you're, sorry, you're going to focus on the fountain that is floating above their head, the fountain of love. And remember, and as you say, remember, remember the words you say are going to cause this fountain of love to drip over their head.